will lay it down at the, the foot of the monument. Uh, you said it was painted black. I think it's actually tempered because as it's been bronze, I think it's been heated and it's been sculpted into a kind of a lot of shape. <laughs> I will bet you at this point in time, within one minute. <laughs> 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 um, the person who's going to be uh, presenting the ring, the uh, is going to be Thomas uh, Grissom Mayer, who is a former student of the University School of Medicine and a former evacuee. And we'll be uh, endeavoring to have a chat with him because I, I think you have interesting things to recount. I can see uh, the, the party is here, and uh, the presidential car has arrived at the compound. Here it is now with the Canadian flag, and the United States of American flag, as it comes back in front of us now, turning to our right, and uh, the president of the United States of America, Ronald Reagan, is now on the compound of the Canadian University School of Medicine. And the party comes out, and we have to see more. Suit, you would say. Uh, and he's now having a chat with the Chancellor, that's Charles Modica, of the St. George's University School of Medicine. Small chat, he now shakes the hand. Looks quite neat. And uh, Joe, when you have seen so many pictures of uh, a great personality, it never really differs much, but I guess the, you know, the, the pomp and ceremony of seeing the man in person sort of a, a, a brings a special feeling. Yes, it does, that's for sure, Harold. Um, well, here he is. It was the same with Queen Elizabeth, if you remember correctly. When we saw her, we all thought, well, it's exactly the same person. Here is President Reagan walking right up to us. We can almost reach over to him and shake his hand. Of course, he won't shake ours. He accepts the wreath. He exchanges a couple of words with the person who will hand it over to him. This is a brown tie with a light brown tie over it, which matches perfectly his fawn coloured, light brown coloured suit. The president shakes the hand, salutes, he turns around, the music, he walks across to the monument. Yes, and uh, after a few words of thank you from Thomas Guzemere, former student, he now lays the wreath at the monument, stands up, and uh, Stands up in reflection, of course. So he bows a little, as if saying a, a silent prayer. And now walks across to his left. And he will first of all meet uh, the rangers. There are four of them. Airborne, sir. Of course, the rangers, they're born. Four of them, they're also members of the Navy. And, and uh, looking across the Joe. We can see one of them, um, one of them showing signs of, of an injury. And uh, we get the impression that injury may have come from combat. For one man to be injured, and then to come back and show such spirit to be present at a ceremony like this, as the president shakes his hand very firmly, and I think it exhibits the kind of patriotism one has for this country, when one can show that uh, irrespective of of uh, his incapacitation that he has the nerve and the courage to come out and show his in, in true glory that he's a true patriot, a true American. In fact, he seems in quite pain because he doesn't exactly stand up erect like his colleague. I think his whole right side seems to me to be injured. Um, he has a prosthesis, that's a, a false arm, a, a false right arm, and it looks also as though he has a false leg, and he's standing up. And, and really, he's looking really quite good, isn't he? The president spends a little extra time with him, and he moves over now with the governor general's support school. I think they will now walk to a special wall that's been built where President Reagan...
my tripod, please. You want this all on this? Yeah, yeah please. That's, that's your spot. How'd it go? How'd the bleeding go? Still going. Still going. How does it feel uh, to be here and be hailed as the hero of Grenada? <laughs> Sam, don't embarrass me. <laughs> this is the scene of your greatest military triumph, sir. No problem. I didn't fire a shot. I'm very happy to be here. It's very wonderful and warm weather. What did you think when you saw these, these sites like the, the St. George Medical School and that beach where you had horses at? It looks so much like that California, I won't say. Is there a thought of being gratified, sir, at having saved democracy here? What? Is that a gratifying thought to have saved democracy on this island, sir? Gratifying These islands are preserving democracy very well. They are an example for all the world. <coughs> we have credited with the figures we receive where you're actually going to have to cut the age of the area for the next fiscal year. Is CBI working, sir? Uh, we hear that, uh, in fact, imports to the U.S. are going down, not up. But it hasn't worked as well as we hoped, but that's what we're talking about. We're going to improve it. More money? Listen, this can get to be a fresh conversation. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of these countries have sugar that they want to export, and, and we have reduced the uh, allowance for uh, import of sugar. The farm bill did that. You signed it, sir. We're dealing with all these problems. <laughs> Still shooting people. The performance which you are about to witness is an exhibition to give President Reagan a taste of our culture. One of Grenada's most popular ways of saying thanks is through the Calypso, and William Elcock, the mighty Scaramouche, would begin the program by... Hold on by expressing our appreciation to the president. This would be followed by the Waltz of the Flowers, 
which is a floral tribute. The petals, dressed in le leotards, tights, and skirts, each carrying a decorated hoop in the shape of a petal, will dance together and flirt with each other. The children dance to the music of Tchaikovsky's Vols de Fleurs, played by the Royal Grenada Police Band. A mass choir from will then sing excerpts from This Island Is My Land, Grenada, the Isle of Spice, and We Are the World, during a display of the flags of Grenada and the United States as a symbol of cooperation between the two countries. The costumes were made by Johnson's Garment Factory. Four o'clock in the morning, Skara was sweeping. Four o'clock in the morning, Skara was sweeping. I hear music playing and I started dancing. When I look above me, where you think I will see? Helicopters passing, this tune there was blasting. <laughs> Music, we are talking. Uncle Sam, I love to hear music. Uh -huh. Uncle Reagan, let me hear. Uh. Ah. <laughs> yes, about 5.30, the radio hit me. Block all roads in the country. They must not allow to invade me. Block all roads, block all roads. Call in militia, call in militia. All over Grenada. Let them come, let them come. You bury them in the sea. I still hear in music. Uncle Sam, I love to hear it. Yeah. Uncle Reagan, let me hear it. Yes, following the after, yes, about 12.30, Austin Code and Phyllis calling from the battleship. Change all clothes, change all clothes, change back to civilian. Like Uncle Sam, take over the nation. I hear news. Uncle Sam, I love to hear it. Uncle Reagan, let me. Ha, 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 ha. 